Hello, all you amazing KISS fans out there, and welcome to my meeting museum. My name is Will, and once again, thanks to our friend Lance, we have the KISS remasters to compare the artwork to the originals. Now, in the first video, I covered the first three releases, and I did not discuss the sound quality. Uh, I do believe that the remastered sound on these is an improvement, especially in the area of the drums. Now, I think the guitars, Ace's guitar was kicked down a little bit. Peter's drums were brought up. Um, that's just my personal impression from listening to them in my car. Um, but they do sound clearer. They are a little bit brighter. So the sound is an improvement. The artwork, um, this is the original and this is the remaster. Now you'll notice uh, as with the first three that we looked at in the previous video, uh, the colors are much more brighter, uh, much clearer. Uh, the images are, are lighter so that you can see more details. Um, now, not a huge, huge difference here on, on Destroyer, but you can tell that the image has been brought up for the original releases and, you know, taken back down a little for the remasters. You'll see there's a little bit of difference there. Um, see the spacing. But anyways, trivial, trivial differences there. Um, now, the inside of the original was just black on white, and... You know, the remaster on um, Destroyer, we actually have a big fold out here. So this is kind of cool. They really changed this up. Um, so we've got that. And then we got the Shout It Out Loud and the Kiss Army logo. And none of which we saw on the original CD release. And then we've got our track listing and credits. Again, we've got white on black, which is my preference for being able to read these things, but we do, again, still have a smaller font. So, for us old folks, um, <laughs> the original was easier to read. Um, so, the back cover here, not a tremendous difference. The main thing you're going to see there is a change in the coloring. Uh, like I said, much brighter, clearer image. Uh, and they removed the kiss uh, members names off at the top Why well, I don't know maybe this was original and that was added and kiss didn't want that uh, But they added some credits down here that were not on that original image and you also see some uh, Some more boulders a little bit of destruction stuff here on the remaster that wasn't on the original So I guess this back cover actually is <laughs> considerably more different than what I uh I recalled uh, and then this whole page here this is new so they moved the members names from that back to this flap uh, maybe that was the whole point I don't know okay anyways moving on uh, there's the original uh, black on silver like all of those original uh, kiss CD releases were and here's the remaster with a little bit more coloring getting rid of that silver disc now this I like the white on the black I do like that that's easy to read that is an improvement and then here you would have the oops sorry bump the rig there here you would have the um, the write-up on the uh, kiss history for that time period again and uh, as I said, if you really want to read those, you can pick these up reasonably cheap. Now, the back cover of all these CDs, uh, they were uh, all, you know, following a layout, a format, uh, not necessarily true to the original. And on the remasters, they have corrected that. The um, back covers are much more like the original album covers looked. And that kind of explains the uh, difference here as well, because this is more of a reputation representation of the original back CD than what the original um, CD release had. All right, so moving on, we can get up to Rock and Roll Over, which is what I was using for the uh, intro shots. Now you'll notice a huge difference here in coloring. The coloring is much darker, much brighter on the remaster. Absolutely love that than the original. The original is kind of a little bit faded. Now, I've taken really good care of my originals. I bought them, you know, new, at least the first six, I believe I did. And they weren't faded by time or anything. They've been stored properly. That's the way they looked when we got them. And this is the way the remasters look. So you do have a much better, brighter uh, image. Uh, looking at the inside flap, we got that white on black that they were uh, 
you know, pretty much doing steady on the original CD releases. And on this one, which I had a little bit rotating, <laughs> uh, we've got, oh, it's harder to read. This is that blue on black, kind of like the uh, pink on black that we had on the first album. So this is one particular case where I'm not impressed with the remasters, that I didn't care for the remaster as much. Uh, even the credits were easier to uh, read over here uh, than they are down here. Uh, but we do get this kind of cool, nice. Which, if you remember, if you uh, got Rock and Roll when it originally came out, you had a sticker sheet, and it had this. This is from the sticker sheet, and you could peel those off and put them on your books and stuff. Um, now, the back cover is pretty much the same as the front cover. <laughs> if you see any difference, other than the uh, credits being added down here on the remaster, uh, you'll see this is the original they did not change it from front to back on the remaster the kiss logos are gone from the corners and they've added a little bit of credits down here so and i'm sure that's uh, much more true to the original as well so looking at the discs we've got that silver on black on those originals and we've got a really nice looking disc here for the rock and roll over reissue i do like that a lot better that is a lot nicer image and on that back we've got the write-up for the history of the band at the time and some info about the the album and stuff uh, there again if you really want to be able to read those you should uh, go pick up some copies uh, for yourself and here we've got the original cd release back cover which is uh, following a different format than the original album. And then we've got the remaster, which is more true to the original, even though it is considerably hard to read. Now you've got the track listing just up here in one corner, really hard to read, whereas that is actually better. So there are some things I liked better from the originals uh, over the remasters. If I could go back and remaster the remasters, uh, I would take some elements from each. Uh, because, you know, there are things that I like better <laughs> on the originals, but the remasters are an improvement. Here again, we've got uh, Love Gun, and um, there's your uh, original CD release. Now, in this particular case, the original CD release does look a little brighter, a little, little lighter. Here's the remaster. It's darker. Uh, the colors might be a little bit brighter. Um, you can, uh, this is kind of more of a yellow, more of an orange, and that's more of a yellow on the original. So, actually in this particular case, I would say on the front cover um, of the six original CDs, remasters, uh, I do like the original better for Love Gun than um, the remaster. And then here we've got black on white, easy to read, and your credits on the original booklet. And on the remaster booklet, We've got this. Now, we, originally, that album came with a gu paper gun uh, that, that you could, uh, you know, it would pop and, and say bang. So if you remember that, if you go back enough to have the original album, and this is how they, I, I guess, covered that for us. Um, this is kind of cool and kind of not. Uh, it makes it a lot harder to read the uh, song credits, but you do get this, um, you know, KISS graphic that was not a part of the original CD releases at all. So, I do kind of like that. And then looking at the uh, back, the original back cover here of the booklet is just plain, which is really weird because on the original CD release, they used that space to give you a nice, very legible track listing. Um, don't really uh, see the remaster being an improvement there. So this is the first of the first six that, um, like I said, I actually like the original CD release better than the remaster, uh, but I got to give them credit. I do like seeing the gun. That does bring back some memories, and that is kind of a cool bloody kiss graphic there on the inside. So kind of a toss-up there on that one for me. Um, but then again, you've got that silver black disc where you can see me, hello, hello. <laughs> and uh, you've got the remaster which has considerably improved artwork on the disc itself. Uh, the yellow on the black, eh, that's not so hard to read. Not like that pink on the first one or the, uh, 
oh, what was the color on Destroyer? Uh, anyways, um, pulling the disc out, there's your write-up, a little bit of Kiss history, talking about the band at the time, and the album, and how it did, and all that good stuff. Um, I don't want to damage uh, Lance's cases, or take any chances, <laughs> uh, and there's really no reason for me to try to document that anyways. Uh, you can pick these up. And here's the back, and you can see, again, as we've previously stated already, they had a theme that they were following on the back of these original uh, CD releases uh, that was replaced with the original album back covers. So there again, it's an improvement um, on the remasters. And you can read that pretty good, even though it's red on, on white. Uh, it's still pretty legible, in my opinion. So... Mixed, mixed bag on the love gun. Um, definitely of the uh, remasters, I would say the absolute uh, best one of them all. Uh, the biggest improvement was certainly on Hotter Than Hell. Uh, big, big improvement and, and, and kind of dressed to kill too. So you could see a little more of the original image that was intended. Um, but uh, yeah, I was really surprised, like I said, to find that the artwork had been completely re revamped and, 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 and improved upon for the remasters. Uh, usually you just get the sound redone. And remasters, quick note on remasters, you know, you got to be leery of them a little bit because in some cases they're not really remasters. The new Black Sabbath remasters that are coming out are remixes. They've completely redone things. They've replaced some vocal tracks, they've replaced some guitars, and in some cases they wiped the keyboards. Um, that's not a remaster to me. That's a, you know, remix. Um, I prefer remasters where they've actually just taken the original tapes and cleaned them up a little bit, brightened the sound, um, balanced the levels out a little. Um, but they're not always honest in, in what they're doing. So you got to be a little leery of remasters as opposed to originals. Um, the ones I'd like to see remasters done the most of is Deep Purple. Their original releases were very muddy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a wonderful day. And come back and see us again sometime.